Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell Power Edge R6515. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on drives. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today. It's a little bit more about the Dell Power Edge R6515. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, well, top in. Uh, this video is going to be specifically focused on drives. We're going to go over hard drives and solid state drives. So, what we're going to do in this video as a whole is we're going to start by showing you the different types of compatible drives. We're going to show you the speeds for those different types, the max size that you can put in for those different types. Then we're going to show you how to physically install them, which is really easy because it's a hot swap drive. And at the end, we're going to show you how to test your drives using both Dell Diagnostics, which is going to be built into your server, and how to use HD Sentinel, which is a secondary tool that we like because it'll show you power on hours and health scores. And it's just a great secondary tool, again, to use outside of Dell Diagnostics. All right, let's go ahead and hop into the good stuff. So what are the different compatible drives? Well, within hard drives, you're going to have SAS and SATA, and within solid state drives, you're going to have SAS, SATA, and NVMe. But I will note for the NVMe, you do have to have the right chassis for NVMe to work. Uh, there's different backplanes and different types of chassis, so NVMe is not going to work on just any 6, 6515. You have to have the NVMe chassis. There's technically an NVMe slash SAS SATA chassis, but again, you have to have at least that to be able to use NVMe. So all right, on the hard drive side with SAS, the speeds are going to be 7.2K. 10K and 15K. And this is something I always like to point out that the 10K and the 15K, these are mechanical devices, hard drives are, so those ball bearings are just spinning and spinning and spinning. And once you use a SAS drive for three, four, five years, you do kind of have to expect that it's going to fail over time because those ball bearings will wear out. So if you are using a used SAS drive, I recommend keeping a spare. And I definitely recommend the HD Sentinel that we uh, use at the end to show you how long it's actually been used for, okay? Uh, within SATA hard drives, the speeds are going to be 7.2K. That's, that's really what you're going to get. That's the predominant speed. There are technically some other kind of random ones out there for the surveillance industry. There's a slower yeah, uh, 5400 speed, uh, and there's technically with the Raptor, old Raptor drives a 10K speed, but 99% of the stuff that's out there for SATA is going to be uh, uh, 7.2K. So that's what you're going to get. Now with solid state drives, the speeds aren't going to be uh, in revolutions anymore. It's going to be based off gigabit per second or gigabyte per second. So with a SATA drive, you can get up to six gigabyte per second for solid state drives. And with a SAS solid state drive, you can get all the way up to 12 gigabyte per second. Whereas with NVMe, that's the real winner because you can get 16 gigabytes per second with NVMe drives. Uh, so those are your different speeds overall. So what are the different sizes? Well, the, the different sizes really depend on what kind of chat you have, and if you're using a 2.5 inch small form factor drive or a 3.5 inch large form factor drive. So let's start with the 2.5 inch drives. So a 2.5 inch SAS hard drive will max out at 2.4 terabytes. A SATA hard drive will max out at 2 terabytes, and that's the real big advantage of using a solid state drive is that a SATA or SAS solid state drive will get 7.68 terabytes. So not only is it faster, it's going to have more scalability on the small form factor side. With uh, NVMe, you can actually get up to 15.36 uh, terabytes. So that's a real, real big advantage. You can get an even larger drive with NVMe, and it's going to be the fastest. So NVMe is definitely the, the best solution overall. It's going to cost a little bit more sometimes, but it's going to be the, uh, the best solution overall. So uh, now let's go to to the large form factor side. The uh, large form factor hard drives, uh, that's the real big advantage is that you can get really large sizes for, you know, cheap compared to what a solid state drive would cost or the small form factor hard drive would cost. So according to Dell's spec sheet, you can get 16 terabytes on SAS and 16 terabytes on SATA 3.5 inch hard drives. We've played around with it and we've put in uh, 22 on SAS and 20 on SATA. And I wouldn't be surprised if someone drops a comment down below saying that they've put in larger drives. I would love that actually if you have put in something uh, bigger or it's you know in the future down the line and a bigger drive comes out and it is compatible, drop a comment below and people will love to know that. So, all right, those are our max sizes. So now that we know a little bit more about the uh, different types, the sizes, the speeds, let's show you how to physically install it. But before we do, I'm gonna grab my ESD gear and be right back. All right, I have my ESD gear on. We're safe to work on our machine. So first thing we need to remove our bezel, just push this button right here, and then you can pull your bezel off. So we're gonna be adding drives, but if you needed to remove a drive, you're just simply gonna push the circle and pull your tray out. That's how you would remove your drive. So I'll just show you one more time. 
you are going to push your circle and you will just pull it out. Now when you're installing a new drive, if you go to put it in, you'll notice it doesn't go in all the way. Well, right here, this little spring, the silver one, you need to push this in just a little bit and that's what will allow you to go in all the way. So when it gets stuck right here, you just come in and you push right there and that'll allow you to go the last little bit so you can fully lock it into place. The other thing I wanted to point out is if you go to our website and you're trying to order product and you do want an SSD in a 3.5 inch chassis, uh, this is something we do support. So when you select your SSD, so this is a 7.68 terabyte, so say you select your 7.68 terabyte, when you go to check out, there will be a drop down that'll give you a tab that'll show you if you need a 2.5 inch tray, so if you want a tray like this, or if you want a 3.5 inch tray with the adapter or the converter to make sure that you have the full kit so you can just pop it into your system and it's all in one place. So that is offered on our website. So when you go to check out, uh, we'll have the complete kit for you. So, all right, now that we've showed you how to install them, which again is super easy because it's hot swap, let's show you how to test them with Dell Diagnostics and HD Sentinel. Hey guys, today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to test your hard drives and solid state drives with Dell Diagnostics and HD Sentinel. So let's go ahead and get started. First, we're gonna go ahead and get started with Dell Diagnostics. So the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and boot up your server. Once you boot up your server, you wanna go ahead and press F10, um, and this will go ahead and bring us into the lifecycle controller. Once we're in lifecycle controller, we can go ahead and scroll down to where it says hardware diagnostics. And then we want to go ahead and click on Run Hardware Diagnostics. And then you'll get this little warning right here. So it's just going to say it's going to take several minutes. So we can go ahead and accept that. Um, and this will load us into Dell Diagnostics. So actually getting into Dell Diagnostics and actually running the test is pretty simple. So we're just going to let these tests run. And these tests can say take several minutes up to several hours. So go ahead and just wait this out. If you're familiar with 12th gen and 13th gen uh, Dell PowerEdge servers, um, you'll notice that this looks very, very different. In the 12th gen and 13th gen, you can actually see the different tests on the left-hand side of the screen, um, and you have a lot more information on the middle of the screen. Um, and it's just a lot more simpler of a screen, but it's just gonna go ahead and run through all of these tests. Um, and at the bottom, you can kind of, you can pause these tests if you want, um, and then you can also see like what test specifically is running at that current time, an estimate of how much time is left for that test. So like I said, these tests are gonna take a little bit of time, so I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward. So once that final test has stopped running, it'll go ahead and stop. And then we will get a message that pops up on the screen that says success. So this means all of our tests have passed. Um, if you had any issues, then you would get an alternative message saying like, hey, these, these tests failed. Um, and at the very end here, we can actually view all of the information and all the different tests that were ran. Um, and this screen's a little bit more similar as to something we'd see on 12th gen and 13th gen PowerEdge servers. But yeah, we can go through here, see all the test results for each individual test, uh, which is pretty neat. Uh, information about the system health, the configuration, um, and we can even go into the event log, which is pretty useful. So that is how we do uh, Dell Diagnostics and how we can test our hard drives, but also, you know, everything else in our system. And if you really want to see if your system is healthy, then go ahead and run Dell Diagnostics. It'll give you a lot of information if all the components are working the way that they should. So now I'm going to show you how to test your hard drives with HD Sentinel. Alrighty guys, so I have HD Sentinel pulled up right now and as you can see we currently have two drives plugged in. Uh, we have this installed into a storage array where we like to plug in multiple drives at a time so we can test those drives. HD Sentinel is an awesome tool because you can see things like the power on hours, which is great especially when you're buying used equipment. You can see how long that, that drive has been in use. You don't want to be using drives that have been, you know, heavily used because then you have a higher risk of drive failure. Um, and that's one of the reasons why HD Sentinel is such 
a cool tool. But as you can see, we can just go ahead and plug a drive into the array and it'll automatically populate within the software. Like I said, lots of information. It'll give you health scores of the drives. As you can see, the two we have up top, they have a 100% health score, while the one at the bottom has a 99%. So all pretty good. So I hope you guys found this video useful. And if you did, go ahead, smash the subscribe and leave a like. If you're interested in purchasing a custom built server or you're looking to buy some drives, we do have plenty of those in stock. So you can go reach out to us at sales at cloudninjas.com sales at cloudninjas.com.